Hi lovelies, welcome to Hard Talk with DD on how to avoid siblings rival. Siblings rival is as old as the fair pair of siblings Cain and Abel in the Bible. It has also left us a bitterness that consumed innocence in the coming generation. Parents have continued to be the remote and the immediate cause of crisis amongst their children from then on. Whether you like it or not, this is hard talk. Contemporary history points us to the German founders of Addis Das and Puma, two brothers who bitterly fought themselves till their last breath. The establishment of Puma was by the product of that crisis, bad parenting. U.S. missionary Priestley and Curtis Blake of Friendly Ice Cream and British politicians David and Ed Miliband, making siblings become like peas in the pod is one of the fundamental duties of parents. It is an error and it will always be with dark consequences to think that children will love themselves on the strength of biology, even though they are bloodline. They came forth from the same mother, it doesn't matter. You have to work it out for them as parents. Les Koba, loyal, former Bush White House advisor and theologian, insists that Parenting, in quotes, is the single most demanding leadership job on the planet. Do you think so? Parents are everything to their children. Parents are provider of almost all things. They are spiritual leader. They are mentor. And at last, but not the least, they are judge. Parents must therefore take the following steps that I will say now seriously to avoid rivals amongst their children if they really love them as they are being raised. I would say all children are different but equal. There isn't bitterness just by the reason of those attributes. Show or harbor no preferences between to celebrate their differences. Teach them. Reinforce your children to show mutual respect, mutual respect for one another, no matter the age. For instance, let them cultivate the fine art of exchanging greetings when and where necessary. Do your children say good morning to one another? I know say some parents for where they don't get that time. Do they say please when they are making a request? Do they say thank you for favor being granted to them amongst themselves? Perfect courtesy demands them to be elevated to culture. If it sounds as if what I am saying is wrong, sleep over it and think because the use of strong and abusive language and behavior for some children, when I hear it, it baffles me. Where are their parents and guardian? Message like, are you stupid, for example, is not a question, but a clear insult is used just to attract penalty when deployed repeatedly by any child, especially after warnings. Misunderstanding used loosely are not abnormal teach them to disagree without being disagreeable they must not fight i need to remind you that when two persons always agree on something one of them is unnecessary so teach them to be polite teach them to politely report grievances to you no child should be encouraged to redress his own perceive wrong as parents your sense of judgment and arbitration must be impartially sublime never excuse the aggressor child some say second children are troublesome by default mm -hmm. 
for any reason even though the child is your favorite as some are doing you don't need to make the other know be that as if it may be the culprit should have his or her time day with you bring your judgment your position your visit to the attention of all your children justice must be seen to have been done your judgment should be predictable always the child who showed disrespect to his or her elder siblings should accurately forecast your judgment when you aggravated child approaches you give quality time to share life's great lessons with all your children so parents don't get that time because then they push your money up and down the intention is to make the house being transmitted and being in uniform never ever say it again never ever allow a swift of the order of prevention treatment in your house it is not good most mothers they do this thing teach them what happened in the bible between cain and abel cain wasn't taught that was why he lived the life as a bad guy they must always remain one another skipper have you ever imagined you asking your child where is your brother or your sister and the answer is i don't know hmm always be your brother's keeper like what Cain told god that am i my brother's keeper can you imagine huh so never ever compare your children or their achievement to their face it's not good it's unhealthy it's not good to be competing with your kids you can compliment them you understand to one another but not as a eh, competitors above all get down on your bended knees raise your hands up to heaven raise your head up to heaven for god to take care of your children and for god to give you the grace to bring them up in a godly way each passing day everything rises and fall on leadership so guys this is the little piece i have for you guys on how to avoid sibling rival in the family video roll it all children are different stop comparing them this world has moved beyond this a uh, a for apple uh, mass english and accounts this thing this world has moved beyond that all kids are different stop comparing them some are going to be academically brilliant some are going to be street smart we need both the problem in Africa is that we will now make one start having low self-esteem because he or she is not academically brilliant as the other child. Not knowing that they all have different strengths. So find their strengths and encourage it. Those days of everybody must do mass English. Those days have passed now. You, you can't be even be falling into that trap. Our parents, it was, it, was, it was a big temptation in their time because truly in their time, all you needed to make it then was academics. But the world has changed. So you to change your thinking. Don't carry a cake thinking. You must go. This is not what I mean. I'm looking for my kids. What, what is your strength? Oh? What is your strength? This, if there's a shorter way to this thing, why must we go a long way? <laughs> what is your strength, my brother? Can you play ball? Take, take, testing, take, score, shoot. <laughs> if this thing can work, let's move on. <laughs> that's why they have football academies everywhere in the world. Now they've learned that, come, we can train a child from beginning to play football. That's what it's called to do. Rooney and Co. and some of the other people, they were full, messy. It was football academy they went to. They didn't go to learn math and English engineering. What, the, what? Many of the things they taught you school, are you using them now? The frog you dissected, what are you using to do now? <laughs> Find their place. Don't be tempted to live through your children. Hey, this one is a big temptation. Don't be tempted to fulfill your own dreams through what? Your children. Because you wanted to be a doctor. You buy, you wrote jam, 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 jam you. You enter biochemistry or microbiology. 
So now you, you now swore to your <laughs> grandmama, mama, that my children must read medicine. Don't leave your own dream through your children. They must be lawyer. So you're already instigating the boy. So you know you're a doctor. You know you're a doctor. No, let him tell you. His destiny is between him and God. They are the ones that will let you in. It's not you that will impose what it's going to be. You know you're a doctor. Junior, talk well. You are a doctor. Ha! You're already imposing. There are many doctors that should be footballers today. They would have played for Man City. Great clubs. Barcelona. Now they are stuck as Arsenal fans. So, in conclusion with what this motivational speaker just said here, we should encourage our children with skills, talents, those that are wanting to go to school, academic uh, school, we should also encourage them, my people. You don't need to force a child to do whatever he or she is not destined to do. It will not work. They will only try. They will force themselves to please their parents and guide them. But when they are of age, it will not be useful. Allow your child or your children to do whatever he or she pleases. Whatever God has destined him or her to do. As a parent or guardian, what is needed of you is just encouragement. Just see it in them on time and encourage them fight towards them becoming whatever god have destined them to be not be only book 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 school 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 because most people today that are made are not even using their certificates all right think wisely for your 